Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are in the world. I am today with uh, Stephen Haley from the UK. And uh, it's my first time talking to Stephen uh, on a video, I believe. So this is just uh, a video call so we can get to know each other better. And uh, at the same time, you guys can also listen in and uh, um, get to know the amazing Stephen Haley here. So Stephen, how are you this morning? It's 11.30 in the morning in the UK. Whereabouts in the UK are you? I'm, uh, well, first of all, thank you for inviting me on air around. It's a pleasure to be here and to everybody who's watching. Uh, hello and good afternoon if you're in Pakistan. Good morning if you're in the UK or the USA. Um, I'm based in wonderful Wiltshire, which is about 120 miles from London. And if you think of Stonehenge, uh, I'm about 20 miles away from Stonehenge and 20 miles away from Salisbury and Avebury. So Wiltshire is, uh, well, it's a wonderful place to live. I'm going to say that. It must be very green. I was there a few years ago uh, at Stonehenge mm -hmm. and we stayed at 20 miles in the circumference of Stonehenge. Um, yeah. So very green and we climbed up a mountain it was really really beautiful up there it is a, it's a beautiful part of the country i mean i've lived in i was sort of born in lancashire uh and then moved to stratford upon avon and uh now i find myself in wiltshire so i've seen most of the country and lived in quite a bit of it and uh i'm just happy to be based in wiltshire at the moment because it's where my video journey began Wonderful. So tell us, um, tell me, you know, who are you? What have you been up to? What has been the journey? What made all the white hair come into your hair? <laughs> Thank you for that. The white hair has been there for a few years now. Um, and I suppose, I, I mean, I, I am uh, a software engineer. I write software uh, on SQL Server for uh, customers throughout the UK and formerly in Australia as well. And that software looks after businesses and it looks after people who distribute things. That's people who buy and sell uh, as distributors. And it looks after manufacturers. That's people who are making anything. And it deals with everything from raw materials to goods in. But to come to your direct question, which is why we're on air together this morning, is that I discovered live video two years ago uh, through a website called Blab. Now, Blab was when four people could come on screen and talk together and people could join in the conversation from the sideline and come on camera themselves. And that was the start of this video revolution. And today we find ourselves on belive.tv, Blab having disappeared, and belive.tv is leading the way. And in that time, I've done around about 300 shows. Today. And hello. 
Hi. <clears throat> Sorry, I got busted out of the internet. Um, uh, it's all part of the journey. I, I occasionally the, the internet fails us, and what we're doing today is very complicated. And we take it for granted because we can just press a button and go live that it's going to work 100%. At the moment, it's working about 90, 95%. So I, I can understand having problems. I was just talking about two things whilst you're away. One was about sound, uh, that people will listen to a broadcast in the background. So the sound is probably the most important part of a broadcast because you get the sound right then people will carry on listening whilst they're doing something else because we all tend to multitask and the second thing is i was giving uh, my thanks to uh, rana imran farhad yunis and nazir mahmoud and ali usman zafar who because of you i have met and been on video with Thank you. I am pretty sure a lot more people want to take you on a video uh, call, but they are a little scared and fearful that you might be busy and then you might say no. And the fear of rejection most of the time um, uh, stops us from uh, approaching people. It, well, yeah, I mean, I, the, the thing is that I've, I'm quite happy to talk to anyone and everyone. I don't have any problems at all. I'm here to help people go live in 2017. And I want everybody to do that. And the only way you're going to do that is just do it. Now, if you want me to be on a broadcast with you, then yes. Uh, but I already do eight shows a week. And there's only, there's only so much time you can actually spend live on air. So I can do two or three extra shows a week without a problem. And if you want to connect with me, please do so. But I just want to say something about that as well. Uh, since you started the initiative, Rayhan, uh, a lot of people have approached and said they want to be friends. Now, I have a, a problem uh, in that I have 4,900 contacts already. So it's very difficult for me to accept additional friends. So my apologies if you sent me a friend request and I haven't replied. It's not that I don't want to. It's that Facebook puts a limit of 5,000 on, and uh, I'm getting pretty close to that. But if you can contact me, you can message me anytime. Yes, and you know that if anybody uh, you uh, who is trying to friend you and you decline to become your follower, which still allows them to receive a lot of your public posts. It, indeed. And uh, I mean, I broadcast on several different pages, but every post ends up on my timeline. So people can follow me through that. They can comment. I always reply to comments. And uh, I found a lot of great friends, new friends, uh, in the last month or so. Um, so please do, please do connect. I, I won't brush anybody off, um, but just it just takes time. Yeah. So since you connected with me, uh, you have added around, I guess, seventy more people from my network, and uh, with that are also my friends, and you have around. 200, I would say, more followers or so. Uh, how has this experience been for you? Because typically and normally this doesn't happen that you add someone and the whole follower or the tribe starts following you. Um, well, how, how has <laughs> this been for you? What are the positives and the negatives? Well, it, it? It, it has been, a, a, on the whole, a very positive experience. I don't think of anything that uh, has uh, caused a problem. As I say, I've uh, been able to add 70 people as contacts and as you say 200 people have followed me for which I'm grateful uh, and I'll add more friends if I could but Facebook puts a limit on that I think the, the the whole thing the whole experience has been helpful to everybody because we've all connected in a way that we wouldn't have done before BeLive.TV uh, entered the arena and became the place to, to broadcast I mean, our broadcasting today is reaching out to hundreds of people, and uh, I invite every one of them to uh, to get in contact via messenger. You can still message me if you're not, if, even if you're not a uh, true, a real contact. You can still message me, and uh, we can have a chat. Uh, the experience itself has been very positive. I mean, I work with Leland Best. I know Leland is working with you, and that you are on uh, what can best be described as a mission 
to help everyone who wants to go live experience it. And I all for that. I think that's a brilliant idea. Uh, so I'm very glad to be a small part of your journey and uh, to make contact with so many people. So everyone who just joined in, uh, I am live with Stephen Haley, who is a software engineer from the UK and he lives in, uh, how would you define what part of the UK is this? South? Or? Uh, it, it's South, South England, it's Wiltshire and it's close to Stonehenge. Uh, so he lives an hour away from London today and out of uh, the UK and um, he helps people go live and he's a moderator now on the Be Live uh, group and he helps people uh, go live on video and also I think that is a hobby but and also he has around five shows including one show with a Pakistani lady from Multan which will be on Wednesday or Thursday every it's, every th It's every week and just let me check this. Let's give me a moment. Uh, it's with Rebel and basically it was Rebel's idea and uh, it's a show about optimism, about being positive and uh, I'm just happy to be part of that. I mean, 12 years ago I started a group on a UK networking site called Optimism, because I firmly believe that if you have an optimist and out outlook on life, then you are more likely to succeed. Uh, so I've been involved in optimism and promoting optimism and a, a positive outlook on life for, for quite a number of years. And it's good to have found somebody else who agrees with that. And Rebel uh, is an excellent co-host. And uh, I wanna say thank you to Rebel and to uh, also to Ali Usman Zafar and Rafia and Mohammed Rizwan, Nazim Mahmood, Fahad Yunus and Rana M. Imran, all of whom have been part of my journey. And it's a fantastic journey to be on. Um, I mean, it's, you, you, when did the idea for this come to you? When did you decide that you're actually going to uh, invite people to be on live video. What was the hook that got you going? So the live video is recent, as you know. Um, I started creating an application like Be Live six months before Be Live went live. Uh -huh. And um, I uh, gave the task in my office. We have a small software company also. So, but they were not able to go forward with it. Um, they didn't, I don't think they took it seriously. But um, I'm glad that Be Live became came to live, and Daniel and Zafar are doing an amazing job on this platform. Um, I started connecting people since I was very young. I was 14 mm -hmm. since I've been connecting people. I started throwing lunch parties. I used to sell computers when I was 14 and 15 years old. So I saw some of the people who I used to buy computers from not talking to each other. So I started inviting them to my home and uh, offer them lunch and they started talking. And I saw that two years later they were doing business together. Yes. And uh, that's where it was started because, you know, communication is the first place you, you know, if you don't dialogue, you never work together. So, and then I have been connecting people over the years since Facebook started. And um, then later on, um, two years ago, I started a program where I said, if you steal my 500 Facebook friends who are not from Pakistan, uh, I'll give you a free laptop. The idea was to prove the point that um, if you actually interact with people from around the globe or you travel around the globe, your mind changes, your thinking changes, and you unlearn what you have learned all your life and you start to relearn something brand new. And I wanted to sort of uh, document this or approve this scientifically by doing this over and over and over and over. So, so far we have done it for 300 people. Uh, we're gonna come out with a book with a white paper explaining that these 300 people have added people from around the globe uh, over social media and this is how their mindset has changed and they have been able to learn something new because of this. 
Um, so in my experience that people who have taken 500 of my non-Pakistani friends, because um, people overseas are now used to, uh, you know, you have clubs, you have bars, you have hangout spaces, you have different places where you meet new people. Uh, and especially in the West, people from around the world are coming in. But in, in unfortunately, for the underdeveloped countries, the problem has been some of the country leaves the country and we're left with the bottom of the pyramid and who are very, they're not so optimistic as you can imagine because uh, they feel that if you want to succeed, you have to leave the country. So I came up with this. Now it has hooked me hooked. Like I, I started this as one laptop. I wanted to give only one computer mm -hmm. uh, two years ago. And now I have given out 300 and 300, 500 people have done this approximately. And every single person has changed, has been able to come out of their cocoon, has become more uh, confident, has become more courageous. And uh, video does this even faster. So I believe that if you add, instead of adding 500 people, if you interview 50 people like this, any 50 people and talk 10 minutes with, with these people, uh, your life will just totally transform. You will no longer remain the same person because now you're talking. And they have, to, I believe they have to be from different parts of the world because then you can imagine and relate to that person. You have an emotional attachment to the um to that person a little bit at least uh if you spend a few minutes with someone you sort of know them you and they're no longer an acquaintance uh they are someone you know uh so uh, the degree of friendship becomes higher it becomes from a stranger to an acquaintance when you friend someone and from an acquaintance to a um someone you know and then if you spend an hour with them they become sort of friends with you uh, totally first of all i i didn't know your initiative had been going two years. Uh, I think once we, we saw it, we, we were just amazed by the fact that you, you, the effort that you're putting into this to make this work and to connect people, as you say, from different continents. And occasionally what happens, as you rightly said, is occasionally uh, something wonderful happens in that you talk to somebody live on video and a connection is made, a connection which is across cultures, across religions, across race, and it basically gives people the opportunity to reach out and make new friends. And globally, globally, we're not restricted now. I mean, back in my day, you got you became friends with people in your street or town. Now we can become friends with people around the globe. And uh, I'm glad to have been part of this initiative and to have taken part. It's something that appealed to me. I like the idea of it. Uh, I, I, I wish it every success, although you've been extremely successful so far. Now, to everybody who's watching today, I think my advice would be that if uh, you can go live on video from your home, then do so. It only takes a few moments to set up on BeLive.tv. You can go live on your own and you can go live on your Facebook page or on your business page. And it's just so easy to do. And you just need your camera and mic from your PC uh, or, and you can go live. I mean, it's, it's just so simple now, isn't it? It really is. And uh, before there was live video, I have been, since Facebook came out and YouTube came out, I have been preaching to take out your phone and start recording the problems around you and posting them online because all of a sudden you're not just, uh, you're, uh, you're literally mining people's minds from around the globe and learning from around the globe because people around the globe will comment on it and help you fix the problems around you in a very different way because you can't really imagine how to do it so you're a you have a sequel problem you go out and post it in a forum somebody will come out and tell it to you like in a few minutes because they might have faced the same problem some time ago otherwise as you know in in code it takes like forever to find a small little bug oh yes and and uh somebody else can come in and fix it for you in a second and you think oh it just took a second you know but it's really not a second it's like uh, 
That's right. There's a lifetime of experience that makes it look easy, but it's not easy. Um, and that's that, I think that's the key. I mean, I've been involved in live video now for two years. And I, the things that I've learned, I've documented. I've, got, I've, I've written a book about live video and I've got courses on Udemy and uh, Skillshare. And it's changed my life. I've gone from programming to broadcasting. And it's something that I enjoy doing. And the only way to find out whether you enjoy it is to try it, isn't it? You've got to get, you've got to take that first step. Nobody can do it for you. I mean, you can come on somebody else's show. That's probably the first place to start. And then the second place is to start your own show and reach out to people. And the other thing is that we're doing this live video now, but both Ryan and I have got YouTube channels. Now, the video that we create today will be watched by people live, and we thank everybody who's watching. It'll be watched by people who watch the replay. But if you really want your message to go out there, then you should put the video on YouTube because YouTube is the world's largest search engine, second largest search engine, and your videos get a new life. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, so all my stuff, which I, I have been broadcasting um, I was blessed to be verified by Facebook some time ago, so I was given the option to do live way before other people were. So I started broadcasting as soon as uh, Facebook Live came out. Um, I, I have also been posting videos on YouTube forever since YouTube came out. And I have been recording uh, even my, my office conversation since I was 20 because I was an entrepreneur since very, very young age. So I had a video camera at the age of 18. And I used to record my office trainings, which I was giving to my staff mm -hmm. um, at, at the age of 20. And I, I lost all my cassettes. I wish I had them. And wow. I could post them all on YouTube. And it will be so much fun to see yourself 25 years ago. Um, but it's, it's like I... I have been a very, very shy person and uh, internet allowed me to come out of my shell and uh, I try to do the same for other people now uh, using whatever means I can because if you want to change the world, the first thing you have to change is yourself. So if you don't allow yourself to come out of your own shell and you're scared and you're not confident enough to do the stuff, uh, you won't do the bigger things. So you have to change small things. And once you change the small things, um, you change the bigger things. And it's, it's, it's all part of the process, I think. I, I, uh, I totally agree. There are some interesting people. Whoever is watching, I will make an introduction to you in Urdu also. Uh, Asalaam As Alaikum, everyone. My name is Stephen Haley, who has written a Facebook Live and YouTube Live ke, uh, book and has written a book and has written a course that you can learn from and you can also invite them to your show. You can also make a video with them and you can also make a video with them. And you can also ask them to follow them on Facebook and add them and you can also get the benefit from them from their feed. My name is Ghulam Murtaza, Adam Khan. Hai. دیدار ہیں میں ان سب کو دعوت دیتا ہوں کہ اور اسپیشلی چودھری سیف اللہ کو میں دعوت دیتا ہوں کہ آپ اسٹیون کو بلائیں اپنے اپنے ٹائم میں میں نے دو ہفتے پہلے ان سے ٹائم مانگا تھا تو آج مجھے ملا ہے آپ بھی ٹائم مانگ سکتے ہیں اور آپ بھی ان کے ساتھ مل کے شو کر سکتے ہیں آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو ریکویسٹ ایوری ون ہو از واچنگ ٹو کائنڈلی شیئر دس ویڈیو سو دیٹ مور اینڈ مور پیپل کین کنیکٹ ٹو اسٹیون اینڈ گیٹ ٹو لرن اباؤٹ ہز ورک آن سوشل میڈیا and live video and you should uh, check out his uh, Udemy course and so that you can learn about live broadcasting and start your own show and message him for a scheduled time for interviewing him yourself. And um, if you go out and interview him, what will happen is that the people who you are friends with will then be able to hear him and follow him and then be able to learn from him. And remember, if your friends are powerful, you're more powerful because if your friends and your community is powerful, you're very, very powerful because they will help you in need. And if you have only weak people around you, you will be a weak person. So make the people around you powerful and strong so that they can help you when you are in need. Well, thank you for those kind words. I'm blown away. Um, I, I, I... They, well, first of all, I want to give one shout out, if I may, to Dida Sheikh. And I 
genuinely enjoy watching his videos uh, on Facebook and uh, we've become becoming good friends and to everybody who's, who's watching is connected to me I just want to say a big thank you and my biggest thank you goes to Ray Han for arranging all this and for bringing me on the show today uh, it's been a pleasure so Didar to me is the mo the most wonderful cheerleader on Facebook. He cheers up every single person who he connects with, and he spends hours and hours and hours cheering people up. So it's really his energy is amazing, and he's really wonderful. And when it comes to that, and Didar is if you watch his documentary we made oh, about yeah. him, um, you'll end up crying because he was someone. I mean, at least I cried. And a lot more people. He cried himself when he was explaining. He came to my course. Um, he won one of the laptops. He uh, he is the first one I think from his city to win a laptop. He was a cameraman. He is he was not very well educated, uh, but he was he's very very passionate about camera. And uh, I think Facebook has allowed him to really express himself, his mm -hmm. art, his his passion, and he gets so much love from around the world now and i encourage everyone else around like in the world to take out your camera and just show people around like imagine steven can never come to dadu or the village where these are living well chances are that he would not chances are that 99 percent of the planet will never see the rest of the 99 percent of the planet that's the real statistical chance now we do have a chance to show, make maybe make it double or triple by showing what where we live, what we eat, what kind of cuisine we eat, what kind of culture we live in, and mix it together and take the best using this amazing platform of video and show the world what we see. And uh, for all the, all the people of Pakistan who are out there, Pakistan. When you hear the name Pakistan around the globe in news, the only thing you hear is a bad, is the, is Pakistan is always followed up with a negative word. This is the first time when it is possible that you can go out and create a positive word about Pakistan using your own news, using your own good news, and show the world what it is really like to be uh, and, and from Pakistan, for example, because most of my following is from Pakistan. Um, I want to share an interesting story, Stephen, with you. Um, there's a lady called Amber Garraway. I found her around, I think, a year and a half ago. And I added her. And as you know, whoever I add start getting following. Mm -hmm. Then she started doing live videos. Then I introduced her to Be Live. And now she does a Be Live show every morning. And now she has like 5,000 people following her from Pakistan. So the problem now she has. What I was trying to do was I have been able to do is that now she cannot talk about anything else beside Pakistan because the moment uh, she talk, starts talking about anything, the followers are from Pakistan. So she has to talk about Pakistan. She's like forced to talk about Pakistan and mm -hmm. like she will probably come one day because um, all of a sudden the, the majority of the following, you talk about you're following you don't like if you are a poet and all your poet all your fans were from guatemala you will be going to guatemala more often than you will be going to london because that's, you know that's where the followers true. are that's true so i have believed that for many years uh for that reason i created a campaign for richard branson i put a billboard for richard branson in karachi mm -hmm. which is a city of 22 million people so i wanted him to come here so I actually wanted to create a large following of him. So eventually he will afford the following will just force him to come to Pakistan just, just for the sake of it. And now, um, since I was not able to do him, I'm taking the other people like yourself, for example. I'm hoping that out of this video, we can generate at least a thousand more followers for you uh, over overnight. Uh, and people would follow you and, you know, admire your work and learn from you. That's what my goal is to make Facebook into a learning, life learning, the school, school of hard knocks. So and they, Facebook school of hard knocks would, would come to life. And um, that's what I'm trying to do by taking all these amazing people and putting into my friend list. And then all these people try to friend them, even if they don't friend them, 
Uh, a lot of people say it's it's I have created a numbers game, but to be honest, it's not really a numbers game. They're they're trying to friend, but they they have to improve their quality of communication so well that they will be able to convince the other party to friend them. Otherwise, they they would not friend them. I, I I agree because it's it's about making connections, and once those connections are made, uh, connections become <laughs> friends and. I believe that, that if you have expertise, whether it be in video, whether it be in programming, whether it be in tourism, you can help somebody else with your expertise. You can share that expertise. You can create courses. You can do videos. You can talk to people. You can reach out and help, just simply help. And my, my advice to anybody who's thinking about doing video is just do it and get involved and find new contacts because every so often a new contact will become a friend an idea will become a reality and an idea can become a business and because of ray hunt we're now connecting the usa the uk pakistan in fact we're connect ray is connecting the globe one person at a time many people at a day and uh, i'm just in awe of everything that you're doing so I want to invite you to talk to live, if you can, with Chaudhary. He is nine years old, and mm -hmm. he is just an amazing, young, uh, adorable kid um, who lives in a small, not a small town, but it's considered small. Most people don't know about it. It's called Faisalabad, and I met him a few months ago, and he came to see me uh, in the middle of night. With his, He dragged his father. No, I have to see him. I have to see him. So he just right. dragged me in. And now he is, um, and now Amber has, you know, loves him and uh, is teaching English to him. And uh, I think if you do a show with him, it'll just be lovely. And he's only nine years old, so I'm, he's doing, he's amazing. Uh, imagine yeah. what he will be like in 20 years if we, you know, if we, if we are able to, you know, give him the right direction, what will happen to him? Indeed, I'd be delighted to uh, have a chat, a chit chat with him. Um, and we'll arrange that after the show. And uh, just awed by the, the people who are watching today. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if I could say thank you. Well, I will say thank you individually afterwards because I just want to make one last point. Well, possibly. Mm -hmm. It's going on a bit. When you've done a show and you know people have liked your show and people have commented on your show, those are potential contacts and friends. If after the show you go to the post and you reach out and you like people who've commented and you reply to their comments, you're actually creating a network. And the more you do, the more they will do and the stronger your network will be. Very true, very true. So thank you, Stephen. Uh, do you want to um, express some other, something else while we are here? Well, just just in closing, I'd like to say, first of all, thank you for inviting me. It's been a pleasure to uh, to chat. I'm sure I look forward to doing this again uh, at, at some point. To everybody who's watched, I'd like to say thank you. To everybody who wonders how we're doing this, then there is a show you can catch on the BeLive.tv page at 8 o'clock. Unfortunately, it's midnight Pakistan. Catch the replay tomorrow. And you'll find out what exactly what is happening on BeLive.tv. You see Jeff Adams, myself, and Ross Brand as we talk about BeLive TV in the future. Uh, if you want to know more about BeLive permanently, then this is a personal invitation. Um, as Rayhan mentioned at the beginning, I'm now a moderator of the BeLivers group, and it'd be great to see everybody in there. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you for giving the time. And I would love to be hosted by you today or whenever you have time uh, so that I can take advantage of your network and they can learn more about. And maybe I'm so blessed to have found uh, Leland and you because you guys have embraced this uh, instead of getting upset about it, because most people are not really ready to add strangers in their friend list, especially in the West. I've, it's really uh, very hard for me to find people who are ready to add strangers in their friend list and they're scared for some reason especially with all the media hype going on around the world 
about the what? funny looking things and Muhammad's and Ahmed. Uh, <laughs> so I, I want to just thank you first of all before okay. uh, before you even say anything. I want to interrupt you. I just want to that the, from the bottom of my heart, really thankful to you and uh, Leland because both of you really have started to embrace these people. And it's I've, I'm I'm telling you, I've been doing this for eight years, connecting people. And it's very, very rare for me to find people who would just embrace this very quickly and not get upset about it. So thank you. But basically, I mean, in my everyday life, there are 1.3 million people from Pakistan living in the UK. So we already have connections and I have friends uh, in England who came from Pakistan. Uh, but the thing about live video, and I think this is a big thing, live video is about people. It's not about religion. It's not about the country. It's about learning about each other's cultures, yes, but there are no boundaries. And Rehan is removing those boundaries if they exist. And uh, I thank you. Thank you so much, sir, um, uh, Stephen. And as I said, I will be looking forward to an invite from you oh, yes, today, Stephen. whenever you have time. Um, I am here, um, available. Let me know. Okay. Well, sh shall we, if, how is Friday at uh, three thirty? Um, it's it's very hard for me to schedule. Like, all right. Okay. I. We'll, we'll con painful. I'll contact you afterwards. It's painfully. Uh, I have. I. I know. As you know, I. I was saying. I've worked so long, and I. This is my one freedom that I have taken and given to myself. I don't want to schedule anything in my oh, life anymore. Okay. At least in my time. So when it comes to <laughs> totally understand. Two hours is great. Otherwise, right. you know, don't don't okay. tell me. All right. I shall contact you two hours before then. Right. Okay. <laughs> I look for I look forward to that. But thank you for All today. Right. It's been wonderful thank to talk so and much. to reach out to so many people. Thank you. God bless. God bless. So, जो जो लोग सुन रहे हैं उन सब के लिए स्टीवन हेली यूके से थे और ये एक कोच हैं जो के लोगों को वीडियो लाइव करना सिखाते हैं लाइव वीडियो से ये फायदा होता है कि लोग आपको लाइव देख लेते हैं आप पे भरोसा करते हैं आप पे जो ट्रस्ट का लेवल है वो इंक्रीज हो जाता है और जब आप किसी और से बात करते हैं जिस तरह आप किसी से बिलमुशाफा मुलाकात करते हैं तो उस मुलाकात के बाद आपको अंदाजा होता है कि बंदा कैसा है उसका अखलाक कैसा है उसका बोलने का अंदाज कैसा है बिल्कुल उसी तरह से हम दूर दराज के इलाकों में जिनसे बिलमजहफा मुलाकात नहीं कर सकते कम अज कम हम उनसे इस तरह से वीडियो पे आकर अपनी दोस्ती को बेहतर बना सकते हैं स्ट्रांगर बना सकते हैं और याद रखिए कि कोई भी रिलेशनशिप कायम होने से पहले चाहे वो कारोबार का हो चाहे वो रिश्ते का हो चाहे वो उनसीत का हो मोहब्बत का हो आ, हम सब दुनिया में आदम की औलाद हैं और हमारे जो भाई बहन ये सारी दुनिया में बिखरे हुए हैं अब हमारे पास ऑप्शन है कि हम उनके साथ मिलकर थोड़ी बहुत बातें कर सकते हैं और उनके दिलों में जो कदूरतें हैं हमारे लिए जमा हुई हैं चाहे वो इंडिया से हों चाहे वो कश्मीर से हों चाहे वो फ़लस्तीन से हों चाहे वो अमरीका से हों चाहे वो इंग्लैंड से हों किसी भी मुल्क से हों और आज बहुत सख्त मुसलमानों के लिए ये ज़रूरी है कि वो रीच आउट करें और बताएं कि देखें हम आई जो हैं हमें रिप्रेजेंट नहीं करते और ऐसे जो गद्दे लोग हैं वो हमें रिप्रेजेंट नहीं करते और आप अपने आप को सिंपली बात करें और इससे आपके लिए दीन दुनिया के दोनों के रास्ते को लेंगे क्योंकि आप उनको अपने दीन के बारे में भी बता सकते हैं आप उनको अपने कारोबार के बारे में बता सकते हैं आप अपने काम के बारे में बता सकते हैं और अगर आपके मिसाल के तौर पे अगर आप कोई सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्रामर हैं फोटोशॉप डिज़ाइनर हैं और कोई काम करते हैं तो जब आपका किसी के साथ रिश्ता बनता है रिलेशनशिप बनता है तो और आप उस पर भरोसा करते हैं तो आप सबसे पहले उसको काम कर देते हैं बिल्कुल किसी तरह से जैसे कि अगर मुझे कोई कोई चीज़ ठीक करानी है या कोई चीज़ बनवानी है तो मैं सबसे पहले उसको कॉन्टैक्ट करूँगा जिसको मैं जानता हूँ जिसके साथ मैंने टाइम गुजारा हो अगर मैंने उसके साथ टाइम नहीं गुजारा होगा मैं उसको जानता नहीं होगा तो कहूँगा कि यार पता नहीं क्या साथ नहीं है इसके साथ क्या करें तो इसलिए मैं आपसे गुजारिश करता हूँ कि अपना थोड़ा सा टाइम निकालें और इन लोगों के साथ बातें करें 
और जो आ, ये आज का जिहाद है मैं समझता हूँ जिसके अंदर आपका टाइम खर्च होगा आपकी मेहनत लगेगी आपको टाइम देना पड़ेगा और इसलिए मैं ये काम करता हूँ मैं लोगों को जोड़ने की कोशिश करता हूँ अब कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता कि आप बलूचिस्तान के किसी दूर दराज इलाके में हो सिंध के किसी दूर दराज इलाके में हो के पी के किसी दूर दराज इलाके में हो अब देखिए ना जहाँ पे स्टीवन रहते हैं वहाँ पे कोई भी नहीं है बहुत छोटा सा इलाका है लेकिन ये आपके साथ बातें कर रहे हैं पॉपुलर आदमी है यूडीमी पे पढ़ाते हैं वहाँ से पैसे कमाते हैं सॉफ्टवेयर से कमाते हैं आप भी ये काम कर सकते हैं तो अगर आज के दौर में कोई पाकिस्तानी मैट्रिक पास है जिसको थोड़ी बहुत अंग्रेजी आती है और वो कम से कम तीस हजार रुपये नहीं कमा रहा तो मेरे दोस्त मेरे भाई मेरे अजीज आप बजाय मुझसे पूछने के यूट्यूब पे जाके थोड़ा सा टाइम लगाएं दस घंटे बीस घंटे चालीस घंटे एक हफ्ता एक महीना जिस तरह आप स्कूलों में और कॉलेजों में लगाते हैं और कोई ना कोई स्किल सीख लें और कोई ना कोई अगर अंग्रेजी नहीं आती तो अंग्रेजी भी आप सीख सकते हैं सुन सुन के सुन सुन के किसी को ने आपको पंजाबी सिंधी बलोची सराइकी उर्दू सिखाई नहीं है आपने सुन सुन के सीखी है तो अगर आप ये बातें सुन लेंगे और इनकी बातों को सुनकर आप आ, सुनते रहेंगे सुनते रहेंगे तो आपको समझ में आना शुरू हो जाएंगी आप अगर आज बारह हजार कमाते हैं तो चौदह हजार कमाएंगे फिर पंद्रह कमाएंगे फिर बीस कमाएंगे फिर तीस कमाएंगे फिर पाँच सौ कमाएंगे पचास हजार कमाएंगे फिर लाख कमाएंगे कोई वजह नहीं है कि आप लाखों रुपये महीना ना कमा सकें लेकिन ओवर नहीं होगा मेहनत करनी पड़ेगी जिस तरह से दीदार शेख लगे हुए हैं जिस तरह से और लोग लगे हुए हैं मेहनत लगे हुए हैं मेहनत करते रहें यूट्यूब पे सिर्फ मैं टीचर नहीं हूँ यूट्यूब पे सैकड़ों टीचर्स हैं आप उनको ढूंढ लें मैं एक वसीला हूँ आपके लिए कि मैं आपको पहला स्टेप बता रहा हूँ आप अगला स्टेप खुद ढूंढ लें अपने लिए रास्ता बनाएं और अपने आप को मुआशी तौर पर स्ट्रॉन्ग करें अगर आप अपने मुल्क को वक़ार जाते हैं अपने दिन का वक़ार जाते हैं क्योंकि हमको लोग समझते हैं कि हम गरीब गुरबा लोग हैं इसीलिए हम दूसरों के मुल्क भी जाते हैं ना पैसे कमाने के लिए जाते हैं तो आपको आज क्या जरूरत है कि आप पैसे कमाने के लिए बाहर जाएं जब आप यहीं पर बैठकर ये सारा काम कर सकते हैं इस वीडियो को शेयर कर दीजिएगा अगर आपको कोई बात बड़ी लगी हो तो मुझे गाइड कीजिएगा जरूर कॉमेंट कर दीजिएगा स्टीवन को एड कर दीजिएगा स्टीवन से टाइम मांगेगा कि वो आपको इंटरव्यू के लिए भी टाइम दे दें और इसके दोस्तों को भी चोरी कीजिए उनको उनसे भी टाइम मांगी कीजिए और जो बी लाइवर्स का ग्रुप है उसको ज्वाइन कर लीजिए जाके आपको वहाँ बहुत सारे ऐसे लोग मिल जाए जिनसे आप बात कर सकते हैं आपको हौसला मिलेगा बात करने का आ, और बात करने का मौका मिलेगा और जब आप किसी से बात करेंगे तो आपके अंदर कॉन्फिडेंस आएगा कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा और याद रखें दोस्तों से बात करने से कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं आता स्ट्रेंजर से बात करने से कॉन्फिडेंस आता है कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ जाता है और जब आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ जाता है आपको अपने ऊपर कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाता है आपको अपने पर भरोसा होता है जब भी आप अपने आप को बदल सकते हैं और दूसरों को हेल्प कर सकते हैं वरना आप किसी की दुनिया में मदद नहीं कर सकते सिर्फ सिर्फ क्रिटिसाइज करने से दुनिया नहीं बदलती कुछ एक्शन करने से दुनिया भर में बदलाव आएगा बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका आ, सुनने के लिए आप में से दो तीन मैसेज लोगों ने कहा था कि मैं इसके बाद बात करना चाहता हूँ काइंडली मुझे कंफर्म कर दीजिए मैं आपको लिंक भेजता हूँ आप मेरे साथ ऑनलाइन बात कर सकते हैं शुक्रिया अस्सलाम वालेकुम आलम खान साहब मैं एडवाइस करूँगा कि आप जूम उर्दू पे करते हैं आ, मुझे नहीं मालूम जूम उर्दू क्या चीज़ है आप मुझे लिंक यहाँ पेश कर दीजिए बट मेरा मशवरा है कि आप अगर लाइव वीडियो पे कुछ भी सिखाते हैं तो बी लाइव जैसे किसी प्लेटफॉर्म को यूज कीजिए क्योंकि जिसे रिकॉर्डिंग ले जाएगी आप इस रिकॉर्डिंग को डाउनलोड करके यूट्यूब पे लगा सकेंगे और यूट्यूब पे लगा के लोग ज्यादा बाद में आपके सोने के बाद भी सीख रहे होंगे तो क्या जरूरत है कि आप लाइव सिखा रहे हैं एक वो टाइम टेक्नोलॉजी के साथ साथ अपने आप को भी बदलना चाहिए राफिया मेरा ख्याल है कि ज्यादातर लोग हम अपने आप को नहीं जानते 97 परसेंट लोग अपने आप को नहीं जानते शायद 99 परसेंट अपने आप को नहीं जानते अपने आप को ढूंढना असल काम होता है और अपने आप को ढूंढने के लिए मेरा ये ख्याल है कि जब आप सुबह पूछता है कि आप कौन हैं तो आपको पता चलता है कि आप वाकई कौन हैं और आप अपने आप से सवाल करते हैं कि आप कौन हैं जब आप अपने आप से सवाल करते हैं बार बार करते हैं तो आपको पता चलता है कि आप कौन हैं अंदर घुसते चले जाते हैं घुसते चले जाते हैं तो आपको शायद जवाब मिलता है कि हम हैं कौन जब हमें पता चल जाता है कि हमारे हम कौन हैं हमारे टैलेंट क्या हैं तो हम उसको थोड़ा सा थोड़ा इम्प्रूव करना शुरू कर देते हैं उसको मांझना शुरू कर देते हैं और जब मांझ लेते हैं अच्छे हो जाते हैं तो फिर हम ग्लोरीफाई हो जाते हैं कोहिनूर हीरा बन जाते हैं 
नहीं तो फिर हम पोने में छुपे हुए डरे हुए खौफजदा इंसान रहते हैं और लोग हमें मैनिपुलेट कर लेते हैं क्योंकि मैनिपुलेट हम हो जाते हैं हमें मैनिपुलेट होना नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि हमें अपने ऊपर भरोसा नहीं होता तो हम मैनिपुलेट हो जाते हैं अच्छा जी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अगेन जिन लोगों को मुझसे बात करनी थी काइंडली मुझे मैसेज कर दें मैं आपको लिंक दे देता हूँ सामने Thank you again, Stephen, for hanging in there. Dr. Most welcome. I look forward to seeing you again, and thank you to everybody. Uh, it's been very enjoyable, and uh, take care, and see you all soon. Bye.